Well, there were 125 homicides last year in the city of Jacksonville. That is a five year low, but it's also an indication of work needed to bring crime rates down in the city. Atia Collins spoke with the families of those lost last year and with law enforcement leaders to see the progress that we've made and what still needs to be done. Over 100 homicides occurred last year in the city of Jacksonville, and some families are still searching for answers. You know, everyone's still not really talking, and that's one thing that we need to change. You know, you got to speak up, because if you don't, then more children are going to die in the same neighborhood. Ja'Cory Jones, a 17-year-old killed in October on Jacksonville's north side, was one of the youngest of 125 homicides in 2021. The numbers are down 30 percent from 2020, but still contribute to a grim total of 1,391 deaths over the last 10 years. It doesn't seem like a decrease. It really doesn't. We still have a very long way to go. We, we still, there's not enough programs for kids. Data from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office shows 2021 had the lowest homicide rate in the last five years, something the Fraternal Order of Police attributes to JSO crime units, state gun targeting programs, and community work. It's shown the efforts um, that they've put in over the last couple of years are starting to pay off, pay dividends. I think we need to continue down that road, um, you know, as far as law enforcement is concerned. But we have wonderful support here in Jacksonville from the community. Community groups like Mad Dads are putting the focus on youth programs and employment opportunities with the goal of preventing crime before it starts. We have got to just say as a community, enough is enough, and we're going to step forward and tell what we know. Reporting Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.